What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kill coming back with another video. And today we're going to talk about sins and buses, everything about them, how to set them up, um, why you may need them, and, uh, you know, how they can save you CPU and everything like that. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to play the song. This is actually the same song I already broke down. So if you want to see the whole mix breakdown for this song right here, it's my boy Pash. The song is called Jump. Um, I did it a few videos ago, so just look on my channel. It's called How to Mix Lit Rap Vocals. I'll link it in the description so you guys can check it out. Super dope vid, but I really go into detail about everything. Um, but I'm going to just play it one time so you guys can catch the vibe, and then I'm going to talk about how I set up the buses and the sins and what's on the sins and why I set up the way I do. All right, so let's just play this joint real quick. Jump, 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 jump. I'm not talking to jump on a roof. Watching some thought of boo Chill with my seat drunk on a goose Pass the master never come to play Trust I'm being tough or rough or feathers every day Come from different struggles, had to hustle every day My brother, we in trouble if we tussle anyway Huh, may stay drop an album Alright, so y'all hear that, man It's hella clean Hella clean, it's cutting through the mix Sounds great Um, so Really, just to break it down, I got my leads bus right here. So if you record, if you're new to recording and you don't use buses, I would say you definitely want to introduce buses into your workflow because, for one, it's going to save you time, and for two, it's going to save you CPU. A lot of people, when they first start recording, they just duplicate every single plug-in with every single track. Just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And that's what I used to do, too, when I first started. But you're going to run out of CPU like that, especially if you're an artist or you're recording an artist that punches a lot. If they do a lot of punch-ins, you're running out of CPU like that if you ain't got a freaking supercomputer. So with all these plugins, the main thing you want to do is, is build you a couple buses. You can do a lead bus, a dub bus, an ad-lib bus at the bare minimum. You do those three, then you straight, you know what I'm saying? So with those three right there, you'll be straight and just make sure they all sound different so basically i'm gonna go through my lead this is my vocal channel my lead i got virtual mix rack i got um avalon 737 from uad on there infinity eq ssl eos is deesser uad pole tech pole child um and then the uad 1176 and a DSer on there so that's everything for the main vocal chain now as far as the sins go i got quite a few going on right here so this first one right here is parallel compression i did not use it for this song i only use it in certain situations not in every situation so didn't feel like i needed it for that so didn't use that got that sin turned off my next sin right here is a doubler just to get a vocal more body i used it just a little bit and these are the settings on that right there and um after i go through these i'm actually show you guys how to set up a bus real quick and uh how to use sins so after that i got a reverb on here just a simple r verb that's that right there a little infinity q right there just filtering it out so it's not muddy or sharp or anything like that then after that i got a one fourth note delay which is this right here using slate digital repeater then i'm doing a little parallel compression right there and then after that i got a half note and then after that i got an eighth note and then i got a 30 second note and then this right here is just the extra uh, echo boy right there. So quite a few sins. They're mainly all delays and then reverb and the doubler. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, when it comes to recording and mixing, especially uh, recording, I like to have a lot of my sins already set up. So my main template that I use pretty much to record most of my artists most of the time is the new wave template. It's actually available on my website if y'all want to grab that it's all these plugins well not all these exact plugins but it's all the wave plugins all the plugins that are in the actual template are listed so if you want to go to the website check it out you can see what plugins you need um if you want to hear the sound of it i'll also link another video where i was testing it out but let's get into these sins so now that you see all the sins and the buses instead of having to duplicate every track each track that an artist records or has is only going to have what i needed on there so he got auto-tune on these tracks, you can see he didn't use auto-tune right there, but he used auto-tune most of the time, and we got like a little plate. This is a reverb I put directly on a ad-lib right there, and then some EQ, but most of his tracks just got auto-tune on there. So we're only duplicating the auto-tune, so if you need another track and he was still recording, you'll just hit duplicate, boom. You get another track with everything that's on there. You see what I'm saying? You get another track right there with everything that's on there, and you're ready to record. 
you guys are auto-tuned, and this track is already going to be linked up to this leads track because it's being sent to that bus. So just to go ahead and simplify it and show you guys how to route a bus real quick, if you're trying to make your own template and you're trying to save CPU and you don't want to put your vocal chain on every single take that you do and be getting overloads every time you record, what you want to do is you just want to hit Command-2. That's the shortcut to go ahead and pull up your mixing board. Once you pull up the mixing board, you want to go to Options, and you want to go to Create New Auxiliary Channel Strip. Once you do that, it's going to pop up over here, and it's right here. It's called Aux19, and we'll just name this for the tutorial's sake, Leads 2. Enter that, and the first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn that all the way up to zero oh, because it's, it's muted. muted. All, right, all right, so, so we, we just, just turned turn that up, up and, and then now I want to go ahead and assign a bus. bus. That's not being used. So I just assigned it to bus 14, which is not being used. And then we're going to go ahead and right click it real quick. We're going to hit create track. Once we hit create track, you want to hit command one, pull your edit view back up. And then you'll see this leads two that we just created. Now this leads two ain't got no plugins on it, but we just put it right next to our leads track. Now what you'll want to do is you'll load your plugins on there. So you'll load whatever you want to load up there, your vocal chain, get it right. Um, I'm not about to load the whole vocal chain up because I'm just showing you how to set it up. So this will be my bus right here. And then the next thing that I can do, I'll just hit Command-2. I'll go back over here. I'll go to where Leads 2 is at. And then I can just really just copy these plugins. If you hit Option and you drag, you can copy these plugins over. I'm not going to copy everything. I'm just copy all the Waves plugins over. This EOS is DSer. This Pog Child. So it's kind of a little bit of different vocal chain because it's missing UAD. I'm actually not going to. Oh, let me bring that back. It's UAD. And uh, we'll throw this ds -er over there, too. All right, so simple vocal chain. Now, for the sins, we're going to use the sins that we already got set up. So I got bus 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So bus 2, you'll just go down here on this new auxiliary track you just created, and then you'll do bus 2. Boom. So that's already set up. That's our doubler, and we'll just have to turn that up on the fader. We'll turn it up to zero right here, and then boom. Bus three, that's uh, some effect. So we'll add that and then we'll go to um, our verb, which is on bus eight. We'll add that and then we'll add a couple delays. So we'll do our short delay, one AD, bus seven, and we'll do uh, just a half note delay. And you just want to turn these all the way to zero and I'm gonna tell you why in a second once you turn these up you'll be able to control them from the fader so once you're on the edit window click leads to boom we on leads to you'll see that this is my doubler right here this is uh, some effects and this right here is my R verb I'm actually, I got to reload these plugins because for some reason I'm missing this exciter. Um, but I don't really use exciters like that. Honestly, I just like to do additive EQ to bring brightness to mine. Um, I feel like exciters, a lot of the time, it's real easy to make it sharp. But um, right here, you got your verb right here. So I, I always put verbs in delays for the most part, unless I'm dealing with one vocal track and I want a specific sound right in that moment on that one track i might put a verb directly on it but it's very rare i like to put my verbs on sins so that i can have complete control over them that means i can mo uh, i can um, automate them or i can just control it with the fader and control how wet and dry it is because if a reverb plugin doesn't have a wet and dry then you really don't got too much control over it so if you put your reverb directly on your vocals really not going to be able to control it how you want to control it so that's why we use buses and sins so that we can control everything so um so if i wanted to take this same reverb right here that's on this bus this new bus we did right here any bus you click on the fader for it is going to pop up right next to it right there so if i click back on that verb that's the doubler click on the verb real quick which is bus eight right here boom you'll see this my fader negative 11. if i felt like i needed more verb i'll just put this up i felt like i needed less verb i put this down based on these settings if you want to change the actual settings for the verb the whole sound of the verb and not just how much verb you're getting you'll just go in the plug in and tweak that 
But that's basically the basics of setting up a bus and setting up sins. So we set up a bus and then we added some sins in. Now, if you want to add new sins that aren't already created, because I made these sins from my first lead bus that I already created, it's simple. Let's go down here to the bottom, click this little empty spot, hit bus, find a bus that's not being used, bus 21, boom, that pops up right next to it. And you can go ahead, we'll go stop. So we'll just do, uh, let's see, we'll do a simple, we'll just do a simple delay. We'll do a uh, echo, boom. We put an echo on there and then we're just gonna turn that down because it's already turned up. We're gonna turn this up and then we can feed in this delay to taste. You know what I'm saying? But we don't have any vocals coming on there right now. So that's it. I ain't gonna make this video long. Someone asked me to explain what's on my buses and uh, why do I use them and how to create buses. So that's how you do it right there. If you guys got any more questions, feel free to go ahead and drop them in the comments below or hit my email. Um, and you could also hit my website, uh, akilmixed.com. We got templates. We got mixing and mastering. Anything you need over there, we got it. And I got some new templates dropping soon. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But the new wave template going crazy over there. Y'all make sure y'all check that out if you got Waves plugins. And I got a stock template coming soon. All right. So, um, that's pretty much it when it comes to creating a bus. Now, when you actually want to send vocals to this bus, it's real simple. So, for example, if I was to just send this audio track to this bus, we don't got the full processing on it. So, it's going to sound a little weird probably. But I'm going to just send it just to send it. So, I'm going to send it to this bus. And what I'll do is you click on the track you want to send, and then you just change the output for it down here. So instead of it going to bus four, which is the bus for this leads track, I'm going to send it to leads two. Since I already labeled it, it should show up as leads two. So I hit bus right here, and then you'll see leads right here, which is the one that I'm on already. And then right now we're looking for leads two, which is going to be on bus 14 but you know we're gonna make this we'll make this we'll use bus 14 so we're looking for bus 14 so we're gonna go to bus right here and we're gonna go to bus 14 which is leads to boom all right so we got that on there so when we hit play this should go to leads to jump and yeah, yeah. all right so we'll solo it jump and i'm not tired to jump on a road and you can see right there that it's coming out of leads too instead of leads right now. So it's real simple. If you want to route it to any bus, you're just routing it to that number. So once you get everything routed, you get your audio tracks routed, you can then just duplicate to get what you want. You just keep duplicating your plugins and you'll have it. So that's pretty much it. If you guys got any more questions, just let me know. Hit me in the comments and I'll catch you on the next vid, man. I'm out. Cool that shit up, kill.